How much do you think this Nivea sunscreen is? Two ninety nine. Twenty five pounds. What? <laughs> Absolutely no way. So that's probably about two hundred mil. So again, you're on air. Do you know Live. what is? Do you know what is expensive here? Toilet rolls. Oh. Wow, that's cheap. Eighty five for a big Sprite. I don't think it is, babe. Oh yeah, one litre, yeah. glass. That's good, isn't it? Should we get one? Yeah. Absolute bugs. It's better for you if you drink out of glass as well. It's quite FYI. How much is it, Nanas, do you think? So I think much. it's the hexagonal one. Nanas? Yes! Come on, Nanas. It's your seat. Goodness! Get your legs through. Oh, they're much comfortable. Hey, Baba! You want this kind of bread, the French stick? How many do you want? Four. One? Yeah. So one's going to share between all of us? Yeah. Okay. Do you want for tomorrow? Two. You think we need two now? Yeah. Right, what you do need to do when you come here is eat their French stick. It's absolutely incredible. How much is it? They're really cheap. Nine rupees. What? We get seven? Yeah. We get seven? Yeah. Okay, can you put that in the, in the basket, please? Can you put that one in the basket, please? So sometimes we get those other ones as well because they stay fresher for a few days, maybe like three or four days. The French dips, only one day. So normally you get cucumbers and tomatoes because that's what makes a good sandwich. Um, so they're really cheap. The tomatoes are 45 rupees a kilo and the cucumber always comes out at about 20 rupees or so. The difference is here, you've got to put them in a bag, give it to the lady and she puts the price and sticker on it. Is it expensive or is it cheap? Cheap. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. So you go to this lovely lady. For the sticker. Fifty p. That's yeah. reasonable, no? Yeah, it is. Big pack of green apples, ninety rupees. If you could tell us in the comment section as well, how organic are these fruits and veggies? Back in the UK, they're sprayed with everything. They're properly GMO. They're almost identical in size and weight so they're manufactured basically is that the same in Mauritius in winners let us know about 200 grams of cheddar is about three pound fifty so cheese is expensive here excuse me how much is uh, one chicken three hundred and twenty nine for one kg it depends on weight ah, for one kg <laughs> And how, how much are they roughly in weight? Half a, half a About kg? one kg, maybe 900 grams. So about £6.50 for a chicken. That's more expensive. No. When did you last go shopping? <laughs> Definitely not. Really? Yeah. No, maybe it's about, no, actually. No. Back in 2012 when I went shopping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. Six oh, pounds, so some seven, eight pounds. So it's not that much more. Eight pounds, that chicken. Cooked. Yeah, but it's a different chicken, I guess. Yeah. Maybe this is organic. Let us know in the comment section. Is this organic chicken? Let's have a look at the frozen pizzas. This is in debate, highly debatable topic. <laughs> this is quite cool. Look at those, nice. 32 oh, mini pizzas. Mini pizzas. 75 pounds, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Restaurante, my favorite pizza. Usually about one pound fifty. No, they're not. One pound seventy-five. Five. Open that straight back up and put that back in. Five pounds for that pizza. That is insane. That's kind of broken my heart. But great idea for the thirty-two pizzas. I don't think we, we sell them in the UK, do we? Very heavy, very heavy, very heavy. Very heavy, very heavy. Oh, two pounds. Some time. Yeah, because they're two pounds. That's good. Two pounds for twelve reasonable. eggs. I think this is cheaper. This. I think, but I think we found something that's actually cheaper in here than Mommy, the UK. Can you turn the camera? You want to show them this? Yep. Yeah. Oh, what is it? That is the butter. Okay, let's stop fingering the butter. Organic nerve. Never heard of that. But this one is normally about nine pounds in the UK. This, £2.50, all day, eat your heart out. This is top quality value. <laughs> we do need some toothpaste, so come hither. 
Aquafresh. One pound fifty, one pound seventy-five. Which one do you want, Nana? You got to pick a toothpaste. Please be yellow. <laughs> blue. Oh no, not the blue one. This one. Yeah. Mummy, do you like that one? Yeah, it's fine. You know what is expensive here? Toilet rolls. Say that again. You're on air. Do you know live. what is? Do you know what is expensive here? Toilet rolls. How about my Okay. What do you want to say to the camera? You're live. The, the toilet roll is actually not as expensive as I thought. I thought it was £10 for a pack, but it's actually £5. It's £500. What's what? that? For a pack of what? That's What's a five? tenner. Oh, it is a tenner. Yeah, it is yeah. a tenner. For, for a big pack. £12. You've got £5 for the 12 For £24, yep. Yeah. Correct. £5. Pack. You can get... I mean, even the, their home brand, their home brand is still just as expensive as a Kleenex here, so. Founder of Tresemme, prepare and protect biotin Sorry. from biotina. Do you know how much this is? I never bought Nearly it £10. Pounds. In England, this is like, quite often, Nine a couple pounds. of quid. Really? Winners absolutely has everything, it seems apart from toilet roll that's imported. If you go to the supermarket, I can't remember what it was called, but if you watch our video of where we went to the Crossettes Small, we went in the supermarket there, but that supermarket was like five times as big as this, and it had lots of local brands. Winners has pretty much, has a few in there, but mostly, Actually, all of these are local. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly it does have uh, exported brands. What's that? Extra. Who gives you extra? Not winners, unfortunately. <laughs> what is that? What's that price? That is £6.75. What? I don't know what that is. What is it? Face wipes. Wow. Yeah, but you do get your brute, which I love. Do you? I love the musk. <laughs> Edition. We don't have a talcum powder, do we? Because we know what controversy that's called recently. How much do you think this Nivea something is? Two ninety nine. Twenty five pounds. What? <laughs> Absolutely no way. So that's probably about two hundred mil. It's probably about yeah. four pound in England. That is ridiculous, and that is extortion. Everyone knows, kids, we need the sun cream. If you need it, you're gonna pay 25 pound for it. That's ridiculous. I'm all for businesses making profit, but 25 pound for 200 mil of sunscreen is just pure thievery. That's theft. I'll just come and show you the nappies, because if you're a family watching this, this is quite helpful. Nappies, again, big thing, about a tenner. Some are slightly less about six, seven pounds. Actamil, 631, so I think that's like maybe, I'll pop it here, I think it's about 12, 13 pounds. Hello. No, what cereal do you want? Black. <laughs> the black one. <laughs> what are they called? Interesting. Interesting. What we have to mention as well, this is obviously a huge topic. If you haven't watched our other videos, we do talk about it in different videos, but the food market here is very unusual. They, it's an island surrounded by the most amazing like aquatic life but they actually export all of their fish bar the local fishermen that kind of i don't know what the agreement is there but the mass mass netted fish or fished fish is exported and they actually eat imported fish even though the island is surrounded by billions of fish which is absolutely insane. Obviously, financially, it probably makes sense, but it doesn't make sense logically. Sago, things like that, are way cheaper than it would be in England because this would be seen as like a, a tropical, you know, or foreign food thing. So that, that would be way more expensive in England. That's 41 rupees, so that's just under a pound. It would be way more in England. Gee, that's what I lived on in India probably puts two stone on my love handles. Do they have the Heinz ketchup or not? Uh, no Heinz. It's about a pound, about the same in England. So as you know, if you don't know, 
We are in Mauritius for five weeks, exploring the island, north, east, west and south. We're doing it on a budget, we're not standing in these luxury resorts, we're showing you that you can visit Mauritius, have holiday in Mauritius on a budget. You can spend £50 a night in an Airbnb and you can also explore and ha have the same, if not better, of an experience than paying £10,000 a week. However, I do have to live on these. <laughs> you have to live on them, you have them as a snack. I'm not allowed to eat anything but this for 75% of the time I'm on in Mauritius. Really? Does he look like he lives on those? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Below the belt. 84, what's that, one pound? That's not my favourite. No, you have the fruit and that. Yeah. But look at this flavour, lovely. Uh, uh oh, we're in the biscuit aisle. This is Nye's favourite. This is your favourite? Nye's favourite. What cookies do you want, Nye? Nye? Oh my, you do like those ones. Oh, we get a like, bigger pack. You like these ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 29 rupees. What's that? 50p? 50p's. I think that's an absolute bargain. I think these are local. Arabic. But quite tasty, those. Uh, these are my favourite when I first came, and now we're 10, 12 days in, and now I don't even want to look at them. Where are they? They're here. These. Nye likes them, though. Oh. I ate packs and packs of these. When I first arrived, and it's kind of making my stomach go. No, no, so you like these ones, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Daddy. Yeah. What have we got? What have we got here then? Mummy likes we the cream got, ones. Uh, What's that? A wafer? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're a strawberry wafers. Very yeah. Nice. Here they are. You want some of these? Yeah. These. Yeah. And I like these ones. I actually want to try these tam tams. I need like three quid. Now this is obviously out. This is out of our savings, not our uh, budget. Mommy. Hang on, yeah. It's mine. Apparently, massive competition between penguins that we have in the UK and these, which almost look identical inside. They're called Tim Tams, and I think these are Australian. I think. Um, sorry, I have to keep going like this because she wanders off and, and she's never actually on it. We're gonna try these. We should know, we do actually eat much healthier in England. When we were in Thailand about a year ago, again, go and have a look at those videos if you're bored, got nothing better hey, to do. Yeah. These were nice treats, weren't they, after yeah. dinner? Yeah. He isn't allowed this many sweets, I would say. What's 115? Two pounds. Two pounds, 25. Yeah, so that's probably double what it is in England. Crisps are... Uh, Hot topic of conversation, not a fan, I'll be honest with you. I think you have to have, they've got it right now, I feel like, like Walkers have absolutely smashed it. I do normally like coming to these countries and um, finding new crisps or corn grills, but I haven't been inspired yet. So if you do know of a local crisp that is on par with some of the ones we have in the UK, let me know and I will try them. Wow, just saying that. Spring onion and garlic, two of my most favorite yeah. things. I'll try these and get back to you. Oh. <gasps> you can see if they've got a stall coffee in a sec. Should we go and see? Yeah. Okay, Moe, 4,000, so what's that, 80 quid? That's expensive. 80 pound a bottle, very expensive. But I'm going to go hundred pound. This is what you'd pay in the clubs. In the clubs. Sorry, who are you? In the clubs. I thought I was 18 again then. Whenever you see a bottle of Moe, oh. Moet. We also bought nice some inflatables in here the other day, and again, very expensive. A couple of quid in England, and they're like up to about ten pounds here. So they are expensive. I thought he would want this, but he didn't want it. He wanted the pineapple instead. Oh, yeah, that's quite cool. I have so many dogs here as well, just wild dogs talking about. If you are into buying some food and feeding them, pick that up here. I know quite a lot of people do that in Thailand as well. I um, just got back from India and they feed all of the wild animals, which I think is the most beautiful thing. Don't know what I'm talking about that, I'm obviously bored, so. Onward. What, apple ties or grape ties? 
Yeah. There'd be like three pounds in the shop, yeah. Uh, in a restaurant. Just over a pound for a red bull. I don't know if that's cheap or not. Pounds for a Pepsi, is that good? Or do you want the sugar one? Yeah. I heard Coke. that sugar, I always used to drink full fat Coke, Coke, but apparently the substitute is actually worse for you than actually drinking sugar. Wow, that's stupid. 35 for a big Sprite. Uh, I don't think it is, babe. Oh yeah, one litre, yeah. glass. That's good, isn't it? Should we get one? Yeah. Absolute bugs. It's better for you if you drink out of glass as well, it's quite FYI. Pampers baby wipes, and that's three pounds. So I've got for the local ones. Milk is just over a pound. So they don't have fresh milk, it's all the UHT milk. But what is mental? Oat milk and milk substitutes are about five pounds. Not that you would tell from this shop, I quite like them. I'm into my health things. And they're all ones that are full of crap as well. So, ah, <laughs> talking of full of crap. We've been going through these like anything. I don't think we've bought anything that uh, we've bought, aligns with your... We've bought nothing that aligns with my normal health priorities. Oh, this would be my aisle here. <laughs> You're a bit of a Bjork sometimes, aren't you? <laughs> Bjork. Luckily, at least didn't see this aisle. This is all uh, seeds and beads and lentils and... She's a bit of a health freak when we're at home, but when we're away, I've got her on the dark side. All the winners we've been in, very clean, very... I know I'm not saying that anyone thought Mauritius was going to be uh, have dirty supermarkets, but people do like to know because in some 7-Eleven will admit bit hit or miss depending on country you go to and area in that country. Some of the 7-Elevens that I've been to, I wouldn't even buy anything in, and I eat food off the store. So it's obviously complicated being an island, being like in the middle of the Indian Ocean getting exported goods and things like that. So prices, you know, they are what they are, but it's very frustrating when I see fruit that's grown here, so expensive. And obviously resorts are getting tabs on that, but there needs to be a sub, uh, what's the word? Um, subsidiary, subsidiary. There needs to be some money set aside and be like, right, okay, we're gonna lose money on this, but it needs to be given to the locals. And it can't be abused, but it needs to be given to the locals subsidised. It needs to be subsidised for the locals because you can't be paying £13. We saw £20 for a watermelon. Big one. The smallest one, £6. That's ridiculous. Like, what? And obviously, that's the stuff that they don't sell, obviously. And that's the, the over-ordered stuff that people, they give to people to sell on the street. That's absolutely ridiculous. I do think Mauritius needs to do something for the locals there. Um, that's my two cents. I don't know anything about anything. I'm just here to have a good time and to show the uh, subscribers what a country's like before they visit. Please subscribe if you uh, liked any bit of this video or didn't like it for that matter. Um, please like the, the, the video as well. It's very important. That, that really does help the video be shared to many more people if you like the video. What is interesting is you bring your glass bottles back, so wine, Sprite, things like that, and then you get the money for them back. Nine, nine rupees for the small bottle. Yeah. yeah, and this one is 10 rupees. 10 rupees. Uh -huh. Then also. Uh -huh. And what about these ones again? Could you just remind me? Eight, 18 rupees? 10. No, eight, uh, 18 rupees. 18, 18 yeah. rupees. Ah. Okay, that's a good deal. Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. That is so that Sprite was like 40 rupees, and then you bring it back and you get 18 back. Bearing in mind, we got about four buckets of biscuits, of chicken, and some bread, it was 30 pounds. Okay, yeah, yeah you'd, you'd, you'd expect to pay that in UK, wouldn't yeah. you? Okay. Where is your shop? You have a shop? Oh, drink. Yeah, where is your shop? Do you just just here? No, it's um, a time now in Mauritius. Me, I live in Orleans. You live in Rodriguez? Yes. Oh my, the island? Oh my god. So when do you come here? Uh, three days I'm coming here. You fly? Yes. You fly? So There's a, in the boat. In the boat? Uh, you come in the boat? Fly. Ah, okay. You come by boat. How long does it take from Rodriguez to here in boat? Uh, only two days. Two days? Uh, Wow, so you're here three days? What? So you come here for three days, then go back for four days? 
Yes. Amazing. So here's oh. the label. The reason I got this stuff is because my favourite chilli sauce is from a lady in Greenwich Market in London. Absolutely love it. The best, you can't, it doesn't even come near the stuff that you get on the shelves. I'm going to try this and I've got a feeling this is going to be the same. Lovely woman, she actually lives in Rodriguez as you heard. She travels by boat two days to get here from Rodriguez. Absolutely incredible. Right, let's get off to the beaches. <laughs> 